Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to the series, Soup Basics for Beginners. Now, I want to tell you that this is an easy, easy method to make broth and it's not one of those cook and make bone broths that take for hours and hours. Often, I will use my homemade stock and then pair it with one of the other two options that I gave you before, which is the store-bought shelf broth or the better than bullion. Just so you know, there are times I use both. So let's get started on this. We are going to start by putting our baby in here. Oh, get my piece of chicken up. Oh, oh, I'm dripping. We have a chicken in here and it's probably like a three pounder, two pounder, maybe it's a two pounder. And I've got eight cups of water. Oops, I am just spilling left and right. Do I want all eight? Let's see, I'm gonna start with six. The less water I use, the more concentrated the flavors are. So that's why I'm only gonna put in six cups. And then I had this one huge carrot that just gave tons of carrot in there. Carrot meat. And we're going to put in a half an onion. I'm not even peeling it because it's not even going to be used. And then I'm not going to put all my parsley in. I'm going to save my tops for finishing meals and for the finished soup. Now, the bottom though still has tons of flavor. Like if you just bite into that, there's a lot of flavor there. So we can use that in our broth. And you see it still has some leaves on it. And I just tighten this up. You could actually take that. Actually, since we're gonna be um, putting this through a colander, I'm just gonna plop that in there. And then we have some seasonings. I'm just gonna put about a half teaspoon of thyme, pepper, and a bay leaf. Why am I not putting salt in? Well, for one thing, salt can be added later when I'm actually making the soup. It's not like that's gonna change. It's not like when you cook an onion longer, it releases so much more flavor. It doesn't work that way with salt. So salt I will use when I'm making my chicken and dumplings with my mommy. She'll be here this afternoon, so I'm getting this done now. Put in a small bay leaf. We're gonna bring this up to a boil and let it cook until the chicken is done. While our chicken is cooking, we are gonna get ready and we are gonna cut up our half onion, chop our parsley, and slice our carrots, and we are gonna have it all ready to go so we don't have to do it later. Okay, it's been an hour. Um, went on a bike ride, check. I um, had to change my clothes and flip the shuffled, sorry. It's been an hour and our chicken is done. That doesn't mean our broth is done, but our chicken is done. So we are gonna pull our chicken out and then we're gonna kind of like break it up some so it cools quicker. And we're gonna take the meat off and we're gonna put the bones back in and the skin to cook down further. I don't want my meat to cook down further because I don't want my meat all stringy and overcooked. So for me, I just like doing it this way. I know other people keep it in there. Um, you know, it, it's up to you, but I take it out and I don't put the chicken meat back in until just about the time I serve it because I like having chunks of chicken in my soup. I don't like it to all fall apart and just be stringy. And sometimes that'll happen if you overcook it. So let's get this out and use your strong spoon and get into the cavity and then you drain it. Oh, that sure is pretty. And then we're just gonna put it in here and just kind of break it up so that it'll cool quicker. Here is our broth so far. I just removed the chicken. It's looking nice and rich. We definitely, um, have some good flavor in there. And um, we're just gonna wait 10 minutes to pull that chicken off the bone and put the bones back in. Okay, putting the meat back in. Let 
Now I want to try to get this all under water, so I'm going to break it up some. And you'll see I didn't do a great job taking the meat off the bone. I did leave some. And that's because after I drain it and separate the good liquids from all of this, I will be picking out the carrots and the meat, and Bonesy will get that for dinner. All right, we have cooked this 30 minutes longer. So this is just a quick hour and a half broth. You can cook it much longer. Now again, remember, I'm gonna let this all cool. I'm gonna take the carrots out and all these chunks of meat and my dog is gonna eat that. So let's see how many cups this actually made. I used seven cups of liquid. I'm gonna put a plate under there because every bit of that liquid is gold. Let's see how many cups we have. This made us four cups. Now, if you want, you can use an even smaller strainer and get a nice clear liquid. Beautiful. So we have four cups of this gorgeous liquid to use, which I'm so excited, but it's not enough for my soup. So that's what I was talking about, that I will probably use another four cups of my other choices of stock. But this, this is liquid gold. Just look at that. This has such good, yummy collagen and flavor and fat and all sorts of goodness that is gonna make this soup so rich and thick. Plus, it has all the flavors from the parsley and the carrot and the onion in here. I added the broth back in the pan, and now we're gonna put, we're gonna start by just, Mmm, I think we better put eight cups of the water in. You're like, oh, you just made that gorgeous broth and you diluted it. Yes, I did, but I have my backups. So we're gonna get our stove going. Our chicken is cooked. Now we're gonna put in our other ingredients. I have probably a cup and a half to two cups of carrots here. I might need a few more. Once I get it in there, I'll be able to tell. We have a half of onion. Remember, I used the other half to flavor the broth already. You can put a full onion in at this point also. Oh, I forgot celery. Goodness gracious, celery. I've got to cut up some celery. I'm going to cut up and put two stalks of celery in here. And then I have probably a half a cup of parsley to put in. And we're going to get that all cooked. I'm going to put the celery in because I forgot. Can't have chicken noodle soup without celery. And I didn't put any in my stock. That was supposed to go in my stock, so do that. Uh, not only did I forget to cut up the celery to put in at this point, I didn't put any celery in when I was making my stock. Celery is very important, so I might put a little extra celery in right now. Um, no, I'm going to use celery salt. So if you don't have celery, if you forgot to put it in your stock, use some celery salt. No one will know. Okay, crisis diverted when it comes to celery. We have that in our pot. And now it's time because I added eight cups of water. So this right now is gonna have a pretty boring flavor. So it is time to put in my better than bouillon. I never measure. Um, I'm just gonna put a big blob in. That's kind of a lot. We're gonna put in this amount and just put it in here. And that's gonna help flavor our soup tremendously so easy I can always add more I still have not added any salt but I did add this which has a lot of salt in it so that's why I didn't want to put any salt in because I knew I'd be using some of this so we're gonna let this cook for a while we're gonna let our carrots get done we're just gonna let it simmer and then my mom will be here soon and we will be making the dumplings for this we are back and my mama is here ah. Welcome, Mommy. Hello, Kathy. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna turn this camera on to what's important, um, which right now isn't us, even though we're super important. But we want you to see exactly how these dumplings are made and what she does, because I think I'm gonna learn something too from this. They're delicious. Absolutely delicious. Okay, so what do we do first, Mom? First, we're gonna crack a dozen eggs. Oh, two at a time. Notice who cooks a little more. <laughs> if I did that, they'd be on the floor. 
Hey, I'm getting old. I did work at a bakery. Twelve. There's. You were right. You all have my eggs are gone. One egg. One egg. Left. One egg. Should we just throw it in? Sure. There. Okay. So baker's dozen of eggs. Salt. You're saying about? Yeah, because you got quite a few eggs in there. Okay. So that was okay. like a three finger pinch. You start. Three finger. Okay. So I have to whip it up, right? And get it. Yes. Then we add the flour, and you just add the flour till you get the consistency of. Um, kind of like the consistency of um, a little soupier than a biscuit. And it, you don't want to beat it too much either because you're going to... Right, we don't want to beat the flour. It makes it tough if you beat it too much. <laughs> okay. Oh, these are going to taste so good. So remember, it's salt, eggs, and flour. That's it. That's it. And this recipe was given to me by... My husband's sister, and I'm sure it was my mother-in-law's. So Aunt Teresa gave it to yep, you. Yep. And did she make? Where'd she make it for you at? In Traverse you? City. We drove up there, and that's one of the dishes that she had. She was a good cook too. And this was, I mean, this has been in our family ever Long. since I was born. Yeah. It'll all fall apart if it's too wet. You put it in your boiling chicken broth and it'll all fall apart so it's just in between see how floppy it is yet yeah it's still got yeah it floppy. almost like yeah a little bit more i'm gonna put that in there that's it that's it okay Yay! Don't want to stir too much. Nope, I would say you're good. Yeah. I'm gonna put my finger in and just taste it for salt. Yep, I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our consistency is good. You can see, and that's exactly what you're gonna do until you're boiling. If it's any broth. thicker, it they just don't taste good. So we just, yep, that's it. That's all you're gonna do. Drop dumpling. And then if you stir it too soon in the broth, they'll all separate. Yes. So you have to leave them a bit. And when they're all done, they come to the top. So let's get over to our boiling broth and we are gonna show you the next step. Amen. <laughs> Before we drop our dumplings in, we are going to add a little bit more of the better than bouillon because it needs more salt and a little more flavor. Since I forgot to put the celery in, when I was making the stock, I put extra in here. I do not need to use the celery salt that I was telling you guys about. So I'm gonna put another like two teaspoons in here just for some extra flavor. And if I still need salt after that, a salty flavor, I will use salt, not this. You just drop See, them in. Just drop them in. Couldn't be any easier. I like smaller ones. Than okay. That. And it's all about me. You think so, huh? <laughs> I know so. You know, it is just cooking egg, so, um, you know, it's not like it takes forever to have these cook. Oh, this is just perfect. You know, you don't want to be stirring because then you're sticking them together. We'll do about half and then we'll eat and then we'll put the other half in. You. Cook what you want to eat that right, night, and right. then... And the rest will be leftovers. Okay. okay. Or if you run out, you just come back and turn your heat up and... And do it again. Yeah. Okay. I've been making these all wrong. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna test to make sure they're done, so find a big one. And these are exceptionally big. I shouldn't have made them that big. She was nervous. I was nervous. Yes, they're done. They're done. Can you so, sort of tell how... See, it's all um, the same color, yellow. And airy, airy bubbly in there. Yeah. You can take a teaspoon and put them in that way too, which mm -hmm. is probably better. Yeah, that's what we'll do for the next batch. Okay. So let's dish everybody up. All right, it's time for the taste test. Oh boy. Papa Leo came to check it out to my dad. Mmm, that is so good, just like my wife used to make. <laughs> <laughs> used to make, you heard that. <laughs> Let me try. Mm. Oh my God. 
excited. Those are perfect. I have yes. been adding too much flour. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Excellent, Kathy. Mm. You made it. Very Excellent, good. Excellent, Joy. Thank you so much for watching <laughs> Kathy Cooks for You. Give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you with a comment. <laughs> and subscribe to my channel. <laughs>